Well, certainly, um, you know, disappointed um, for my guys. Uh, they battled, uh, played hard, uh, proud of their um, their effort. I mean, they 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 continue to do exactly what I asked them to do. Um, the credit should go to Georgia today. They made the plays in critical times when they they needed the big plays. They came up with them. Um, in a one-point game, there's going to be a play or two that decides the game, and 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 uh, credit goes to um, Kirby Smart and, and and the Georgia football team for making the critical plays when when they were needed. Uh, nevertheless, I'm I'm proud of my football team and, and the way they competed. Um, they're going to learn from this game, and they're going to grow from it, and they're going to be better because of it. Still, the loss hurts. It stings, but uh, like I said, we'll um, we'll grow from it and be better as a football team because of it. Questions? Hey, Brian, right over here to the right. Um, two questions. Yeah. Um, number one, did you feel like Georgia may be the quickest defense you've faced in a long time? And quickness wasn't an issue for us today. Um, you know, they were. Uh, you know, I knew coming in, they had great depth. Um, and, you know, at times we struggled with, um, you know, controlling, you know, any kind of continuity with the line of scrimmage. Um, they're physical up front. Um, you know, we felt like if we could get the ball into the second level and into the secondary, we could have some success, but we didn't have, uh, at times, uh, the chance to do that. Was there any reason why Dexter Williams did not play on offense? No. No, there's no particular reason other than coach's decision. Brian, other than liking the effort, what did you learn from your team in this game? I mean, they're they're a team that battles. I mean, I, I thought that, um, you know, first of all, our defense, um, you know, other than a, a couple of misfits on plays, um, was, you know, th the type of defense that can continue to – go out there week after week and give you uh, the kind of effort necessary to win football games. Um, you know, I think that, um, you know, we, we were able to, um, from an offensive standpoint, um, you know, 19 points wasn't enough tonight. Um, we, we put ourselves in some tough situations, but I just like their – their grit and resolve and going out there and, and competing for four quarters and having a chance, you know, to win a football game against a, a quality opponent in uh, the University of Georgia. Brian Dunford. Yeah. Georgia's defense against you guys on first down, you're a second long pretty much all yeah. night. Is that just a matter of they were quite talented or were they doing something in particular that threw you off? No, there's – I mean, I, I – Look, they deserve the credit for, for getting us in the second and long. We're, you know, we're going through some, you know, we're learning. I mean, our quarterback is, is learning um, the, the tools of the trade. He's, he's getting, you know, uh, different looks and different reads. Um, it was three down, and, and, and uh, they brought a lot of pressure. They didn't want to get him out on the edge. And I thought he learned a lot tonight. This was a great game for him to grow from. Um, but they, they did a really good job up front. I mean, I, I got to give them credit and made it hard for us to establish a good, um, you know, a, a good rhythm offensively on first down and got us behind the chain. So I, I give them more of the credit. I know Brandon's been here for a long time, mm -hmm. hasn't played a lot. No. Just the inexperience tonight, did that sort of show itself? Is it just a reality he had to deal with? You know, again, I, I love the, the way he goes out there and competes, but there are things happening for the first time that he's getting a chance to, to grow with, and I'm glad he's on my team. Um, we're, we're living through a couple things here and there, but, um, man, when, when, when it all comes together, um, we'll, these press conferences will be a little different. And just tackling for your defense, how do you feel like that improved? M much better. You know, we had a couple of misfits on a jet sweep, and we didn't get off a block here or there. But I, I was – we played well enough defensively, you know, for us to go into a game like this and say, look, we've put our defense now in a better position um, 
that we can go and play with anyone. Anyway. We have we had three possessions with eight minutes and thirty seconds to go. Um, we had our chances to win the game, and Georgia was better than us up front, and and um, you know they deserve the credit. They made the plays when they needed to. Brian, Brian here. given the given the experience of your offensive line, were you surprised they were that much better than you up front? Well, it, it wasn't necessarily you know one particular area. It was recognizing where the protections needed to be slid. It was recognizing, you know, uh, you know, we had a little problem, you know, in, in totality. It wasn't necessarily a matchup one guy versus another. Um, it was a little bit of everything, you know. Um, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say it was just a physical mismatch as much as it was. We struggled a little bit with, with the management of, of their, their front seven. Brian, uh, that play in the third quarter where Brom got hit out of bounds, or that's what they said. Critical they, play, obviously, yeah, in the game. Can you explain what uh, was explained to you through the whole thing? It, it seemed to take a little bit of momentum that you might have had defensively. Well, we were off the field, and, and obviously, subsequently, they scored. But um, and, and those are the things that, you know, when it's a one-point game, you know, you'll go back and we'll learn a, a painful lesson, you know, from that. Right. Um, you, you hate to learn lessons and, and losses, but, you know, sometimes you have to learn some painful lessons and, and um, you know, that that will be a painful lesson that we had to learn. They were they were seeing whether the receiver had stepped out of bounds uh, on the catch, which would have changed the, the where they spotted the ball. Uh, they said that the the video was was inconclusive. They couldn't tell. Fine right here. Uh, your first three scoring drives, you guys have uh, plays of 29 yards or more. Mm -hmm. Did it become apparent that maybe nickel and diming them down the field was going to be a tall task against this defense, and how did that affect play calling? Uh, I don't think we ever went into the game thinking that, that that's the kind of offense that we were going to be. Um, I don't think that that's the kind of offense that we've purported to, to be. Uh, we we want to run the football. Um, we want to be able to uh, get Brandon out. Uh, out of the pocket a little bit, and, and we want to take shots down the field. Um, when, when, we, when we got them out, um, we didn't protect as well as we'd like. Um, we didn't throw it as well as we'd like. Um, we didn't coach it as well as I would like. So, I mean, it's – look, when you lose by a point in a really, really good game, um, a lot of great things happened tonight, but a lot of great things um, didn't happen. Uh, for us when we needed them. So we need to coach them better. Um, I, love, I love the spirit of our football team. I love what they're, they're sacrificing for us. And, um, you know, we'll bounce back and be ready for um, Boston College. Brian, uh, last week you defended Justin Yoon after missing, missing a couple kicks. Could you comment on his performance tonight? Yeah, I thought he was really solid in the in the kicking game. I, I, I you know, I, I felt like the adjustments weren't going to be major. I think that's why maybe I stepped out on the limb a little bit with him. Um, we made some slight corrections during the week, and he was hitting the ball really well. But leading into it, he was he was striking it well. So I didn't think it was going to require a big adjustment for him. So I felt confident that that was going to be the case. Obviously, Brandon Winbush, a young quarterback, but mm -hmm. did you not think that you could lean on your offensive line a little bit more under the circumstances? Well, I, th I thought we did. I, I, I don't know how we didn't. I mean, they, you got to lean I, on I, them. I, I count on them b to be successful is what I mean. Well, w w listen, I was just like you. I was hoping we score on the last drive. So I was hoping that they would be successful too. But George is pretty good. And, and – they made a play, and, and um, we'll go back and we'll coach. Our guys are pretty good, and their guys were pretty good. And when, when it got right down to it, um, they made a couple more plays late. Um, it, it, it's splitting hairs. I mean, there, there were a couple things that happened that, you know, we just, we're going to learn from and we'll get better from. Yeah. Brian, was there anything that surprised you? We're, we're, I'm sorry. Right here. I'm sorry. Okay. Is there anything that surprised you that uh, you guys didn't see on tape that uh, that Georgia did tonight at all? Um, probably a little bit more uh, field pressure and some cover two behind it. They trapped a couple of the throws. 
but but not not a lot. Um, it was kind of what we thought. They didn't want the quarterback out on the perimeter, which they did a pretty good job of. And um, but you know we knew they were going to be physical up front. Um, you know I went in with a you know a, a belief that uh, they were going to have their you know uh, successes, and then we would have ours. I think if I'm standing here and we found a way to score one more touchdown, you know, and put 26 points on the board, maybe the, the narrative is just a little bit different. We didn't, um, and, and uh, we lost the football game. We're really close to being a, the kind of football team that can play with anybody. Um, we're short on a couple of things today. We'll, we'll shore them up, and we'll get back at it next week, and um, I, like, I like my football team. Brian? Okay. Um, obviously, you've made a ton of changes, changed the culture, everything. But obviously, you lost in, at the very end, kind of like last year, seven of eight losses. How do you what, what's the question? What's the I'm question? I'm getting to it. Uh, well, get to the question. How do you keep this from snowballing? It's like not going to snowball. Year? Next question. Well, what, is, what exactly will be different, uh, I guess? There's nothing different. I, I go to work every day, and I coach my football team. Is that, is that good enough for you? Yes, I was just asking about the how it, it was different from last year's with losing by one possession. And okay. Tonight was also like that. So I was just wondering. Losing by one possession? Yes. No, it was one point. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. <laughs>